Oh, I mean, it feels amazing. You know, I, I have pretty high expectations of myself. So it's like, I really did want to go in there and get another finish. Um, so I, I did exactly what I wanted to do. It seemed that a lot of people were really impressed with your striking the first round that you were just banging with one of the best strikers in women's mixed martial arts. And then when you got the opportunity, it, you're kind of unstoppable on the ground. Were you just waiting for that opportunity? Yeah, it definitely was. Um, you know, I know she's super tough. She she was a world champ and she was ranked number three, even in flyweight. Um, so I knew I was going to have to use my striking to get to that takedown that I knew she was going to be ready for my takedown. So uh, I knew I needed to really set it up and I, I was confident in my striking. You know, I went over a couple of strategies that my uh, striking coach wanted me to implement and they were working perfectly and I felt good uh, standing with her. And, you know, she hits hard, but I felt like my defense was working pretty good. Definitely a couple of little things that I want to clean up, but um but I felt good there and I, I didn't want to rush my takedown. I didn't want to make it too obvious. I didn't want to be sloppy. So I knew I had to like kind of wait and find my timing that it would just come. Uh, so yeah, that's exactly what I did. Um, she's come out and, you know, said that it was a wardrobe malfunction. Not that she's making excuses, but it kind of is an excuse when you hear that. <laughs> I, I, I did see that. Um, I didn't realize it at all in the fight and I did watch it over because I was kind of curious. Um, I don't know, it might have slightly came up. Then it kind of, I think like when I came up, it came up a little bit. Then when I went back down, it kind of, it kind of like fixed itself. Um, yeah, I don't think, I mean, maybe I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the takedown could have slightly been from that, but I, I personally don't think so. But her giving up her back and me choking her um, was completely like her own fault. You are so confident. You're just 23 years old. When you wake up earlier in the week and see the number three next to your name. Has it, you know, how does that feel? Is it sunk in that you're finally getting the respect that you deserve? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I worked hard to earn it. I, I've been training since I was a kid and um, I knew going pro when I was 18 that it could, it would move quickly. Um, knowing like my, my ability, knowing that I was willing to put myself out there and take tough fights like, against someone like Jessica. Um, so, you know, I kind of, I mean, it, it's definitely sunk in, but at the same time, I, I expect it out of myself and I, I want even more. So, um, I know I, I'm already like thinking about going back to the gym and working on things that I want to improve. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You said it in the octagon is, is the winner of that fight in, in a week who you want next. Oh, definitely. I, I think, um, I've proved myself after this last weekend. Um, and I definitely want that title shot next. When you look at Valentina Shevchenko and I'm not trying to look past Grasso, but she's the champ right now and she's been pretty, pretty dominant. What challenges do you pose though for her that maybe she hasn't seen yet before? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think even in some of her other fights against Tali and Jennifer, um, she definitely, you know, she can be taken down, she can be controlled on the ground. And I think my jiu jitsu is even better. Um, I know I could fight with her anywhere. I'm confident in my striking and my wrestling and my jiu jitsu. Um, but I think just putting my whole game together, I think, I, I think I'm more well rounded in that sense that I could put it all together better and that, um, that I'll find that win wherever I can. Does part of you want Valentina win just to be able to get the title from her? And also you might run into a rematch that if Alexa was to win, you might be waiting a little bit. Yes. That's definitely something I thought of. If Alexa did win, they're definitely going to rematch again. So then I would have to fight again, uh, which I definitely would want to, because I would want to stay busy, but uh, I definitely do want uh, Valentina to win. I want to be that one to take that belt from her. Um, she's been a super dominant champ. She's very skilled and, uh, having that prestige of taking the belt from someone like Valentina is definitely what I want. When you get in there, hopefully someday with Valentina, how do you see the fight going? Oh, I see my hand getting raised whichever way I need to. I, I know I can win that fight wherever it goes. Um, yeah, we'll just have to watch and see how it goes.